back and let's enter let's let's answer the letter B so we use the formula formula of tan negative raised to negative 1 15 meter per second over negative 45 meter per second the result is negative 18.43 plus 180 degrees so this is the angle right over here and plus one so to get the positive value of the angle we add 180 degrees so this is the visualization of that here and we minus the negative 18 which is part this mm -hmm. so it would be like this so that we just get the pure angle over here in reference with the positive x axis in reference with the positive x okay, so i do apologize for poor yeah. so here and if we do the math here the answer would be negative 18.43 plus 180 degrees plus 180 degrees so the answer would be 161.57 161.57 degrees so to check we should measure it based in, from our protector and mm -hmm. 161 mm -hmm. so as you can see it's almost there and could satisfy it would be appropriate okay so here 161.7 degrees so next is the letter C so C mm -hmm. C C so the letter C is what is the displacement does the particle undergo during the first 10 seconds so you know that the formula for since this particle this this one is under the net force meaning we can conclude that it has it is particle under constant acceleration so we could use the formula of xf is equals to xi plus vit plus one half at squared right and we just need the delta x delta x so the delta x is if you transfer this so it would be just vit plus one half at squared since since the book said that it is starts at rest you could cancel this to zero so delta x is equals to one half et squared so what we just need to do is know the equation we don't have the acceleration but we have the force and the velocity so f is equals to m over a again this one over here and if we just transfer it it would be a is equals to f over m so delta x is equals to I did the wrong one. 
I do apologize. It is my first time to read you. So remember that the formula for acceleration is A is equal to V over T. Because we have the velocity, it is much more easier to use this kind of formula. So one half over acceleration V over T times T squared delta X would be cancel this. So it would be VT over 2. So delta X using this velocity negative 45 meter times 10 seconds over 2 is equals to negative 45 over 2 is equals to times 10 so it will be negative 225 25 meter so we'll use the delta we'll use the same formula for the displacement in the y axis it would be this one 15 meter per second times 10 seconds over 2 is equals to equals to 75 meter so the displacement is equal to negative 225 i plus 75 j mm -hmm. so for the last question it would be an easier one and the last question is what are the co coordinates of the particle at 10 seconds? So we know that this is the displacement or the this one is the xf minus xi and this is the yf minus yi. So what we just need to do is delta x. What we just need to do is find the final x find the final coordinates which is be xf is equal to delta x plus xi so here the final negative 225 is our delta x and the initial velocity is negative 2 and the initial I mean the initial position at the x-axis is negative 2 and the initial position at the y-coordinates is 4. So here negative 2 plus negative 2 So again this is i plus 75 plus 4 this is j the answer would be d is equals to negative 227 i plus 79 j mm -hmm. so this is the answer so what I've experienced here, we done this. Just remember to don't forget the negative. I have a mistake on that. And we use the tan. And for letter C is we use the formula for the particle under constant acceleration. And letter D is this. We manipulate it so that we get the final coordinates and here it is so thank you for watching and this is my first video about the physics problem thank you and see ya